Hi, Christina. Okay, so this is me writing you back. What's well, not writing? It's like vlogging you back to answer all your questions and to probably ask you the same questions, but I don't know. Also, I'm watching Skins, so I'm slightly distracted, but we'll do our best. I'm addicted to Skins now. If you haven't watched it, you should probably watch it. Okay, so the first question you gave me, I wrote them all down. Um, I don't really remember what the question was, but I guess I wrote the answer. And Arizona, and my full name I'm assuming is what you asked me, is Abigail Tony Fierstein. And Tony is after my grandma, because her name's Tony, and she's my favorite person, so it works out well. Um, let's see, what's the next question? Who comprises my family? Well, my immediate family is myself, my mom, my dad, and my older brother, who's four years older than I am. And what are they like? They're crazy. Um, I'm just kidding. No, they kind of are. Um, my dad's a teacher, and my mom takes care of my grandma, and my brother is a lot like me. Um, we the same type of, like, we like the same women. Um, uh, he's kind of nerdy. He does web design, but he's cool. I like him. He's nice now. Um, who's my favorite? My favorite person is my grandma because she's a badass and she's German and Skins is really distracting so I'm going to put it on pause real quick. So hold on. Okay. So, okay, yeah, she's German. She's been through a lot. Um, she's really strong. So, I love her. Um, what was I like as a kid? I was the same height, and I was a big nerd. Um, I've always been a big nerd. I was really shy. I didn't really talk to a lot of people. My friends, when I was younger, they were all boys. They kind of still are. Um, like my two best friends now are boys. Mm, let's see. What else was I like? I really liked sports. I was a tomboy. When I was really little, I was a really big tomboy. Um, I would run around with my shirt off which I kind of do now too. And um, what were my friends like? My friends were like me, like I said, they were, but they were boys. Um, I didn't have like a really like good group of friends, like strong, like we were friends since preschool and now we go to college together. Like nothing like that. Um, my two best friends, Derek and Mladen, I met them like my, well I met Derek, like my freshman year of high school. And we got, like, better friends, like, throughout, we got, yeah, throughout high school. And then Lauden, I met, like, my senior year, and he's still one of my best friends. So, um, yeah. Um, favorite animal. My favorite animal is a sloth, because it's the only animal that's also a seven deadly sin. Seven. One of the seven deadly sins, um, which makes it awesome. And because they're adorable. Have you ever seen one? They're so cute. I want one. Um, when did I first realize I was queer and how did I feel? Okay. Well, again, I haven't actually looked at these questions until just now I made this video, so sorry if it's really horrible. Um, I first realized I was queer probably in around fifth grade. Like, I didn't know what gay or whatnot was. I just knew that I wasn't straight. Um, like I did. Or like I just knew that I didn't like the boys the way that everyone else seemed to like them. Like I remember Titanic came out and they're all like, Oh my god, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jack, I love him and I was like, Rose, she's so pretty. Like it was just things like that and it was kinda like odd and it threw me off a lot and I was really confused and um, I hated it. And then I became really religious. And so I like really hid behind my religion. I was Baptist for like 12 years. Funny story, I'll tell you about it later. Um, and like I really hid behind my religion as a way to cover up how uncomfortable I was with the fact of being like queer, or gay. Um, but it kind of just like, so, like I think freshman year of college is when I really became okay with it. And I was really lucky because. Um, I moved into the dorms at ASU and I was lucky enough to have a roommate who's still one of my best friends now, 
who ended up being like in a committed relationship with a girl and like she was one who really helped me become okay with everything I don't even know if she realizes that but she helped me a fucking lot so props to you Chelsea um my first significant partner it also says why but I don't really know why the why is there so I'll just tell you that. I've had one like I would say significant something where it actually was like first person I said I love you to first person I did everything with um she was still like a really important person in my life um we talk like we didn't like obviously we broke up um and we didn't talk for a long time but like we're back in each other's lives and it's really good and it's I don't know she's awesome she's a really great friend now um it was my freshman year like summer so I just finished my first year of college so it was kind of cool like I just had accepted myself as everything and then I found like this person so yeah you can ask me more questions about her later because I don't really know what else to say about that my favorite scar story oh my favorite scar and the story behind it well I don't have too many scars but my favorite one is got to be the one that I had from my surgeries um I had two surgeries and they went through the same incision so it's the same scar I'm going to show it to you probably because I show everyone because I'm really proud of it um because at first I hated it because it's right on my stomach and it cuts through my belly button so it like was something that really bothered me for a long time but now I really embrace it so I love it so I'll show it to you that's that. You can't really tell here, but that's it. Um, so that's my scar. And um, it kind of just shows everything I've been through. And um, it reminds me of, like, how strong I am. So yeah. Um, top five favorite books and why. Okay. Here's a little truth about Abby. I don't read. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I really don't. I like to say I like to read sound smart sometimes but I really don't like reading I can't I get really ADD with a lot of things like I can't sit down and watch a movie for a whole time without doing something I can't just like listen to a whole song like I have to change it halfway through and I can't read a whole book because I just get bored it's not it's not anyone's fault but my own um I did read The Lovely Bones I liked that I have read The Giver I liked that I've read parts of Wicked I like that obviously it's a musical as well kind of the extent of the books that I read. I really like books about philosophy. That I, that I do like. Like, I've read the Bhagavad Gita. Really interesting, really, like, good philosophy. Tao Te Ching, love it. Analects of Confucius, um, things like that, that I had to read. Those were all required books for school. And those books I read because I'm a nerd. But, um, I like them. So those are my favorite books. I really like books about philosophy, power of the mind, um, not so much big on fiction. I just can't, I can't get into it. I don't know why. Um, favorite music from past to now. Well, now, musicals. Um, love, 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 love. It's my, like, escape to the world. Um, past, I was a Spice Girl fan. Part of the Spice Girl Club. I was scary Spice. Um, I was really one of those kids who tried to like everything that was popular. So in sync. Backstreet Boys. I still listen to all that stuff on my Spice Girls Pandora channel. Um, now I'm actually really, I really like the 80s rock music now. I've gotten really into like 80s music lately. Like my Pandora is always on Joan Jett. I love Joan Jett. Um, I would marry her in a heartbeat. Yeah. So that's kind of music taste has been like top 40s, popish, now breaking down to the 80s and musicals. Let's see, favorite body part? Myself and an Epsom, okay. Well, my favorite body part, I don't know, I really like my teeth. It's not really a body part, but it like it is, but like, I think a body part, I think of something that like, some sort of tissues covering. Um, but I really like my teeth, cause I take, like, I, I'm a really big teeth person, um, family work, dentistry big in my family yeah big teeth person I like my teeth um, I also like these but that's 
it happens. Um, and my favorite body part of other people, you can ask anyone. Anyone in the story will know this answer. It's abs. I love, 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 love abs. Um, guy, girl, doesn't matter. If you have a nice body, um, I'll probably try to touch your stomach. It happens. Let's see. Um, social injustice that you are passionate about and why. Okay. Um, I probably should have looked at these before I decided to 